So from the given question, we have got uh, the data below shows the number of laptops sold by 15 sales agents during the last financial year. So that is the information that we are given from what? The 15 salesmen. So meaning say N is equal to 15, the number of terms that we are given. There. From the given data, determine on 1.1, the median of the number of laptops sold, determine the median, which is the middle term. If these numbers are arranged in order of size, so the first thing, are these numbers in order of size? So as you can see, they are not in order of size. So the first thing was to rearrange so that at least we can be able to answer our questions. All right, so the least value according to this was uh, 34. All right, so we're going to start with 34. Uh, followed 34, 34, 34, we've got uh, 37. All right, we still have any 30s, no? Go to the 40s, to the 40s, that's uh, 43. All right, 43, uh, we have 48, all right, 46. Okay, 46. Then uh, we have 48, 48. Okay, 48, 48. Then uh, we have got the 50s, all right, 52. All right, that's uh, 52 and uh, 54. Okay, then uh, 58, also have 58. Uh, that's, that's it. Then the 60s, 62. Okay, uh, followed by 68. Okay. That's uh, 68. Okay. Then we have got uh, the 70s, 73. That's uh, 73, uh, followed by 78. Okay. And we have got the 80, which is the 84, and the 90. So that was it. These are the numbers that we are given. So first, arranged in order of size, ascending order, in ascending order of size. So it will be easier for us to determine the median. You can even cancel this one and this one up to the middle term. Or you can use the formula, guys. You can use the formula. Remember, the first thing is to determine the median position, half of n plus 1. How many terms? As we said, n is 15. So that's half of 15 plus 1. All right, uh, that's 16 and half of 16 is going to be 8. So that's the 8th position or the 8th value. In that order, we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. According to the order of size. The number there is 54. According to the order of size. So the median uh, was 54. So in order uh, for us to have that, we need its position first. So that's uh, 54 uh, laptops as we are given the information. Anyways, let's move on to the other part of the question. So that was uh, for two marks, okay? Calculate. The range of the data. Remember range, maximum value minus the minimum value. Maximum minus minimum. Already we've got the, the, the numbers arranged in the order of size. What is the maximum there? 90. At the end, we have got 90. Minus the minimum value. Where are we, start, where do, where are we starting from? 34. The difference gives us what uh, gives us uh, what we call the range, and that was going to be 56, right? 90 minus 34. 90 minus 34, which is what? 56. All right. Another question uh, 1.3 calculate the interquartile range. The 
interquartile range. There is no way you can determine the interquartile range without the quartiles. There's no way. So you need the quartiles first. Q1 and Q2. All right. Remember that. Uh, let us save uh, this one here. Remember, uh, that's uh, 1.3. 1. 1. Okay. Remember that. The interquartile range is equal to the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So we must have those. Okay, it was for three marks, which is okay. All right, so let's have our data here. First, determine Q1 according uh, to its position. A quarter of what? N plus one. How many terms? Remember all these terms say they are 15. So that's a quarter of uh, 15 plus one, 16. And a quarter of this, that was going to be four. So the fourth position was going to be our Q1, the fourth position. That's one, two, three, four. So that was uh, 46. Okay. Then uh, the same in the same way, calculate Q3 upper quartile. Third part, three quarters of what? N plus one, 15 plus one. Okay, so that was going to be 12 there, 16, then that one and that one. So we need 12 the value. All right, so we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The number there is what? 73. So that's our Q3, which is uh, 73. So all these is going to give us the interquartile range at the end, as we said, uh, the interquartile range is the difference between the upper and the lower quartile. So that's 73 minus uh, 46. All right. So that was going to give us the interquartile uh, range of uh, 27, 73 minus uh, 46, which is what? Which is uh, 27. Just like that. Just like that. Then the last part with uh, three marks, it is to draw a box and whisker a diagram for the data above. As we do understand that in order for us to have the box and whisker diagram, we need the five number summary from the minimum value is given from our information. We already have that one, which is what? 34. The lower quartile, Followed by what? The second quarter, which is our median value. We calculated also that one. Uh, remember, the median was determined on 1.1, which was 54. We have this. The upper quartile and the maximum value. As we can see from our information, the maximum value was what? 90. So these five numbers can give us the box and whisker at the end. Remember your box and whisker plot, guys, from a scale that you'll be given, whatever uh, presentation that will be given, guys. What is important is the numbers that uh, we have there. All right? Remember the minimum value first? All right? So we're going to have uh, the minimum value, which is corresponding to what? To 34. We have got our whisker. All right, so this is our minimum value. The whisker to the what? Lower quartile, which is 46. So the lower quartile corresponds to a value of 46 according to the presentation that you'll be having. Your Q2 at what? 54. All uh, right, maybe somewhere there corresponding to 54. So that's our Q1 here at the beginning. Q2 and Q3 at the end of the box which is uh, in this case is um, all right somewhere at what at 90 uh, 90 somewhere there so that's our q3 and to the end uh, we're gonna have our whisker which goes to the maximum value all right our maximum 
Q3, 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 Q3 is what? 73. And the maximum value is what? 90, right? Sorry for that. So that's uh, the numbers that are um, important, these ones, the five number sum up. Just like that, guys, you're done. So do revise as many questions as you can each and every part. And where you do not understand, you can send your questions in these WhatsApp groups that uh, you can join. Uh, the WhatsApp groups, send your questions. Let us revise as many questions as we can uh, till we meet again.